Hey Hacking Toast Enthusiasts and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's been a bit of a headache for many. Building a Hacking Toast on Intel 500 series motherboards, especially when you're relying on that integrated GPU. Somehow you managed to install Mac OS Teho on your 500 series motherboards and want to drop display with iGPU, but you get black screen, then this video gonna help you a lot. Because in this video I'll guide you through the process, how to fix black screen on 500 series motherboard by injecting a custom EDID. This video is all about to prepare an EFI for Intel 500 series motherboards to install Mac OS Teho. You can see I'm using Intel 10 Gen processor with a 500 series motherboard. The 500 series chipsets like 560 and Z590 are designed for Intel's 10 Gen and Intel Gen CPUs. While 10 Gen common like broad EUHD 630i GPUs. And here is the issue with the motherboards. So let's get started to fix the issue with custom EDID and install Mac OS Teho. Now before we go, make sure that your BIOS is up to date and the following changes are done. CFG lock disabled. If you can't find this option in your BIOS, you might need to enable Apple XCPM CFG lock in your open core config. Then next, VTD disabled about purge decoding enabled. If this enables resource bus support, ensure that it's disabled. IGPU multi-monitor disabled. SATA mode AHCI. Secure boot disabled. Path boot disabled. XHCI hand up enabled. CSM compatibility support module disabled. Now if the BIOS is done, save it. Now generate your EFI following this video. A link is given in the description where you can find this video on macOS playlist of my channel. You need to cat tool to modify your EFI. Link in description. Then you need Minitool Petition manager link in description too finally a 32 gigabytes usb and a patient to inject custom edid to the ufi i have already downloaded mac os teho beta 2 by following this guide video is in mac os playlist in my channel and in the description of this video i've made the bootable usb using rufus tool and now we'll inject the edid let's go ahead to the process press winky plus r and type rage edit hit on the enter key click on yes now go to this path H key local machine system current control set nm display and in the display section you will find multiple parameters select one of them just like this and here you'll find multiple lines select them and now select device parameter right click on them select export select desktop and put the name as one click on save now you can see it's saved now close it now in the desktop you will find one right click on it select edit in notepad and now we'll have to clear this now del now delete these lines make sure that you have chosen like this before default zero delete this delete now again select this delete now make sure that the cursor is here and there is no blank in here select all click on edit click on replace now click on here type comma and on the replace section put nothing click on replace all now you can see it's done and now again click on here delete this now type backslash and click on replace now again click on here erase this and type double space now click on replace all now it's replaced now it's done close it now make it full screen and now you'll have to make this in a one line click on here hit backspace again click on here hit the 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 backspace now select all click on view and go to zoom and zoom out after zooming out you can see all the text are in one line now it's done again click on zoom zoom in now it's done now click on file click save as now here choose text put the name as edid click on save minimize now you can see edid is here minimize this go to download folder here you'll have to download ocat tool link will be given in the description open the folder open it and here you'll find auxiliary tool right click on it run as administrator click on yes close it now you can see my EFI is in the desktop, click on file, click on open, go to desktop, select the EFI, OC, then select config.playlist and click on open. Now you can see it's opened, go to DP tab, 
select the second line you will need this text now we'll need this chart the chart link will be given in the description now one by one you'll have to copy and and put here and delete them click on here and it will be deleted now here you'll have to click on plus add them to 13 lines are there select just like this now just copy and paste them all now you can see here three lines are added we'll have to put in these three lines the edid data here now go to the edid data select all right click on them copy now click on here one by one and paste them now make sure that the data will look like this now you can go to this text and now copy this rest all one by one now you can see it's done if you find any key of them is blank select them and click on minus and after doing all the changes you will find total 12 lines in there if you find like this all are okay now go to nvram tab select this 5c9f82 select this and now come here select this line totally right click on them select copy and now go to the bootleg section select them delete them paste them here now it's done now you can see it will look like this now go to pi tab finally in pi tab make sure that either imac 20 comma 1 mac pro 7 comma 1 or macbook pro 16 comma 1 these three sm bios will work for intel 10 10 igpus now when everything is done click on this icon save now you can close it now the final step no. now you'll have to install mental partition tool after installing open it click on yes click on launch application now you'll have to select a pen drive like this and select the EFI drive right click on it select change later click on ok click on apply click on yes now it's done close it now you will need explore plus plus link will be given in the description open it select explore plus plus right click on it run as administrator click on yes now go to desktop select the efi right click on it copy go to this pc open the efi drive right click on it and paste the item here so a group plus file in destination now it's done close it now restore your pc and boot your pc from the usb
Congratulations, you have successfully installed macOS Teho on Intel 500 series motherboards with iGPU. What are your experience with 500 series Hackintosh? Have you managed to get your iGPU fully working? Share your tips and tricks in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Hackintosh content. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.